Wireshark Tip 10. If you want to follow along with these tips as I release them on Twitter, you can follow me at Laura Chapel. In this tip, we're going to go through how to right mouse click on the TCP stream field and apply it as a column for dealing with spaghetti TCP traffic. And what I mean by that is that a lot of times when you're communicating on the network, you'll have multiple connections. And when you look at the trace file, they're all intertwined. And sometimes it's hard to tell when you've gone from one conversation to the next conversation. So we'll use this TCP stream field. It's a stream index field to add a column so we can quickly see when we've gone from one conversation to the next. I've opened up a trace file called app dash Norton dash update two. And we can see that the trace file begins with uh, DNS queries and then we have our handshake. We make a get request, another get request. Oh, file not found. That's not too good. See another get request here, get request. All right. So first of all, before I add this column, I'm going to change the way the length column is aligned. It really bothers me that it sort of runs right into the info column. So I'm going to right mouse click on the length column heading and say align left. Now I'm ready to add my stream index column. In order to do this the fastest way, I'm going to expand the TCP header in the packet details window and there's our stream index line. In Wireshark, it assigns a stream index number to every TCP conversation, starting with the number zero. So here we have a SYN packet, and this is defined as stream index zero, and every packet in that conversation will maintain stream index zero. When this client goes and makes another SYN connection request to another target, Wireshark would number that one. For us to easily detect when we've moved from one conversation to the next, we'll just add this as a column. The fastest way to add a column is to right mouse click on the field that you're interested in and select Apply as Column. There's my stream index column. In this trace file, I do have intertwining TCP conversations, but it's very easy to see when I've moved to another conversation there. I can see I went from stream index 0 to stream index 1. So so far we have two streams in view and as I scroll through I can easily see when I'm hopping over to stream number th two or three or four etc. We can also use that stream index field to apply filters for traffic based on a conversation. When you select the stream index line you can see down below that the syntax for a display filter is simply tcp.stream. So I can type in tcp.stream equal sign equal sign four and I'm only looking at TCP stream for traffic. That TCP stream index value is great. We can use it when we apply uh, graphs to the traffic. We can use it for our display filters. Um, and we can use it when we want to just pull out one conversation. To keep up with the Wireshark tips, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. And for more Wireshark tips and training, visit chapelu.com.